Okay. Hello and welcome back to reality. Yes. Where a, a world where where the Bulls lose to Leinster, which is what one would expect. Yeah. I suppose. It was painful. Yeah, it was a... Um, it was a lesson, wasn't it? It was a definite... Uh, the tactic was clear from the start. We wanted to to slow them down, to kick many box kicks and hope for mistakes and scrum and line out as much as possible and force them into a into a slower pace of play with as many set pieces as possible and, and as many mistakes and stuff as possible. But the, the box kicks were bad. Embrace Papir, I, I don't think, had a great game. Um, so in general, that, that was bad. In the first half, the scrums went very well. Very well, yeah. Wilco Low is unbelievable. Mm -hmm. um, Indispensable to us. Yes, yeah, and when he's not there... Um, but I think in the second half, the depth got exposed and Matanzima has been around forever and he can't break into the starting lineup. And I think, I think the Bulls need to find a, a young upcoming prop, um, like the next prodigy to sort of take his place. Yes, Not Harold Foster nasty. as well. Yeah, there are in Harold a few Foster positions. Yeah, he like kicked the, the ball. The first ball he got. There's space, he just kicks it away. That's what he does. Yeah. No. I'm so, sorry what guy. was it, 14 12 at half time? Yeah, 14 12. Which I thought. They scored a good try. They scored uh, two yeah, good tries, I think. Yeah, good answer. So, I thought just um, maybe, maybe if we just play a little bit more expansive in the second half, it could be better. And then the exact opposite happened Leinster's normal play kicked in and they just managed to punch holes everywhere yeah Gibson Park injected a lot of pace mm. and guys who um, Kane and Moody didn't look good we missed Sedman Chance he, he looked a bit lost on the outside centre yeah, let's keep him at, at wing he plays mm. well there yeah especially on on, 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 uh, on kicks fielding kicks and and being to be able to create gaps Line breaks on the outside, and the inside center is a is, is a channel where you obviously there's a there's a bit more defensive cover. Um, he's versatile, but on the day, he missed tackles and mm. just didn't look good. Um, I thought Huerson had a decent game. Um, his goal kicking is very good. Um, kept us in the first half, kept us in the game with with good goal kicking, but. Yeah, the second half, it just all fell apart. Yeah. And our bench wasn't strong enough. Their bench is Im immaculate. And yeah. when Dan Sheehan, Sheehan comes yeah. on in the second half, I mean, he just destroyed Turnovers, us. Turnovers, scored a try. Yeah, and two, Gibson sure. Park, like, as you said. Yeah. And, and Kalen Doris coming off the bench. No, it was just like, it was like, it was like boys playing against the island, basically. Yeah. Yeah. It looked like. But it's a good lesson. It's a good mm. lesson for us. Shall we have a quick whinge about... Um, whether their scrummy, their starting scrummy should have gone off. Um, yes. Let's have a whinge about that. Let me tell you why that we should have, we, why it's relevant. Yeah. Is we're at the business end of the tournament now. Yeah. So, I know you want to be the best team. Yeah. But how many, how many times do champions of competitions, you know, lose a couple along the way? Yeah, yeah. Lose their way. All that matters is that you have your home final. Yeah. So the question is, was that a red card offence? I thought it was at speed. He wasn't going down low. No. Uh, look, the law is there because the defending player has to protect the attacking player when making the tackle. Gertli Aronso was completely upright. Um, McGraw, McGraw, is that him? Um, the tackle technique was extremely bad. Yeah. He's, a, he's, a, he's, he's a, at speed. He's a fairly short guy at speed ran into him completely upright they said the brunt of the impact was on the chest that he he was down yes because of the he force himself out. because of the force of the head impact yeah. the words of the referee was it kissed his face now where in the rule book do we talk uh, uh, is there anything about kissing faces no or that sort of thing no it was a dangerous tackle um there were no, there was no mitigation it was a red card yes yeah so we were not the better team no 
but but in terms of winning a oh. championship mm. with a home final oh. it's like that's frustrating that these frustrating. things still happen um, yeah. i know it's it's in dublin there's the crowd that you don't want to ruin the match this and that whatever and um, before the game and i've openly spoken about ben whitehouse and andrew brace as i don't know how they got to the top lef level of refereeing Andrew Brace, uh, Ben Whitehouse was the TMO. It's not a good decision. Yeah, let's let's think about like remember that red card we get got against was it against Edinburgh? Mm. Marcel could see or did yeah. It, so what I want to say is, you got a red card there, justified. Yeah. And then we we lost points there. You yeah. Know? We we lost as in the league points. We lost the game. We yeah. we were actually looking pretty good. Yeah. Now. If that doesn't get applied across the board, yeah. then like then it doesn't even out. Like no, no one learns anything, you know. Yeah, it's all over social media, and I know people will just say sore lo losers. Yes. I think I you think there was a good chance that that we might still have lost the game. Um, but e even do you think so without Richard Park? Um, yeah, I think possibly could have happened. I think we could have strang strangled the game. Um, but uh, it, you just want consistency mm. in interpretation of the laws. And then, and then Kurtley Orenso gets a penalty against him in an overturned try. Yeah. For going for trying to kick a ball and then he kicks someone in the back. Like, mm. you know. That's something that I really want. Um, uh, uh, that want them to stamp on as quickly as possible is, um, is, 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 is play acting in a contact sport. If you get... I don't even think it was that hard a kick on the back. I yeah. mean, if, if you're lying on the floor now and I kick you on the back, you're not going to scream and shout and hold your back and go crazy. Yeah, but um, it, look, it, whether it was sore or not is not the issue. The yeah. question is... But it's players trying to get other players like what, what sent off or yellow carded or, or penalties against them because and it's like it's like soccer type play was it not a rugby incident like you know they yeah. talk about a, a rugby what is yeah. it a, a rugby yeah. event what do they call it when yeah when I think someone it's a rugby when, incident, when there yeah. is a when there is technically foul play but they're like no it's a it's like a rugby yeah incident. it's nothing it's like you often see uh, um, like guys dipping and it's high and it's play on yeah. and that sort of stuff because you use a bit of common sense look it was a bit silly we saw it with with Tipperick who was basically lifted up and then put down and he was never in any danger mm. um, for the Ospreys and the guy got yellow carded I mean yeah. the player was lifted yes penalty yeah. not a yellow card for me yeah. I mean if, if la he, he was basically p put down yeah he was lifted above the horizontal shouldn't do that yeah. penalty but the guy was yeah, never in any two the same get the same sanction like mm. Tipperix tip and and uh, you said it's McGraw. I'm going to go with that name. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, we don't want to whinge too much about it. It's just, it does affect the season. Yeah. It does affect us. Now yeah, no, because now, 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 now the whole thing is going to be sore losers. And I don't think that, that we deserve to win the game. You just want, and I, 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 I'm not going to say that that definitely would have changed the outcome, but it's, um, it's bad officiating. It's bad me. officiating. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so done with that. Um, we couldn't watch everything, but the Dragons beat Zebra, which would have been expected, but they're bottom of the log, so that would be a bit of a conf confidence builder for them, but that's not any bearing on, on the playoffs. Yeah. With, uh, with how many? F one, two, three, four. Uh, what was the score there? 2013 at home. The Benetton, a very good win against Connacht, 18-14. Yeah. Watched a bit of a highlight. I think Connacht there. is a little bit down, maybe. Yeah, they they the Lions beat them, and now they lost to Benetton. It was in Italy, and Benetton is a good side. They, uh, they 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 play an expansive game. They are, but Judix, I don't know. I rate Connacht. Yeah, yeah. Like I really thought that it was a great win by the Lions last week. Yeah. Like people, teams don't go there and win. I, I see that the Stormers have to go play Connacht over there. I don't think they'll win there. No, in Galway. Galway. Yeah. <laughs> And then um, Sharks Edinburgh. Um, lots of errors. Yes, lots of errors. From lots the of errors, but much better second half. Um, some nice tries, but also very stop start. Yeah. Um, I was very happy to see that John Funamava found the stadium because he doesn't know that Durban is at the coast. I don't know if you saw that. Oh, uh, really? Yes. Oh, uh, really? They, they, this, there was, uh, man, those guys from. 
from Rugby Pass or something. It's or from what? Rugby Pass, yeah. Ah. These British guys. Are okay, like, <laughs> that's funny. Oh, and they're speaking to them, to Duan, and I didn't see the other guys off, off camera, and they're like, yeah, please point out where Durban is. He puts it like next to Lesotho, but on the not oh, on really? the coast, not on, on the coast side. Okay, then then the, then the British guy is like, listen, um, does Durban have a beach? <laughs> yeah. And then, then Duan's like, he's like, you can see, he's like, it suddenly dawns on him that he's mm. put the thing in the wrong place. They're like, oh, where man. have you put it? And he says, he, he's he's basically put in the it, free state. He's put it in the free state. And he says that's where Joburg is. So he doesn't <laughs> know where Joburg or Durban are. <laughs> Good thing that he's a talented rugby maybe, player. Maybe he should just <laughs> stay in Scotland. I don't yeah. Um, mention in in a in the Sharks game is definitely the attack of of Apalele Fassi. and they yes. question his defence. But yes, see that guy can can punch a hole at base and yes. and create stuff from nothing. He had uh, he's had one of his best games in like three yeah. years. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know how you fix that. I saw it everywhere. I mean, I watch the Hurricanes in the morning um, in Super Rugby, and as I was watching the game, I'm like, this guy coached the Hurricanes. Um, I guess now I've forgotten his yeah, name. No. Um, that's bad because we definitely know him, but it'll come to me now. The, the Sharks coach and uh, Plumtree. Plum, yeah, and. Uh, they just throw the ball around like you see in Super Rugby. You know, in Super Rugby, all the teams do it. So the, yeah. it's constantly frantic. Balls get passed out. It's, it's passes go to no one. And it's, it's not the, really it's not and our it's, way, though. It's just, it's, the whole thing just gets thrown around, and both teams do it, and they just want to outscore the opposition. So that's the way the Sharks are playing. And they make so many mistakes because they're trying to play that way. And the, the other thing that happens when you play that way is you undercommit at the ruck. There's never a ruck. Because the ball is supposed to be shifted as quickly as possible. Yeah. Hamish, uh, is it Hamish Watson? Yeah. Is his name? Yeah. What's that? What's the flank's name yes. from Edinburgh? Yeah. Or Richie yes. Gray. Which one? I don't know. Which yeah, one I think Richie Gray. To? I'm referring to Richie Gray. Yeah. That guy had a field day. Yeah. Because there was no, never anyone to, to, to secure the ball. And in the second half, it was slightly better, the, the ball protection. And uh, <laughs> Hendricks... Uh, Jaden Hendricks, uh, yeah, I don't know. Didn't also didn't have a great game. Yeah, his favorite thing is complaining about what's going on at the rock, rock and then yeah. a, not a looking ball, at the ball. You got like the shocks have seventy percent chance of still, yeah. um, like getting the ball back. Yeah, but then because he does that, we definitely lose it. Yeah, you know, if they could just do the basics better, if they could catch the ball and clean properly at the rack. They could have won the game by 30 points. Mm. Um, I wanted to say, you were talking about props just now, but that M Mkunu. Yeah, Mkunu, he's good. When he, I don't know if he was on the bench or whatever, but when yeah. he was, when, he, when I saw him on, yeah, that's got, he's, he's got some aggression there. He's got yeah, some he's power proper. there. No, he's, he's proper. He'll play more tests, I think, in future. Mm. There's so much talent there. I, I just think, I just think that they, they really need a new coach. Because I don't mm. think, if you know, if, if players play for that guy and they think, it's, uh, we don't know if this is working. Yeah. Then, um, then you don't have the dressing room, and it, I, th I think you just, it's a bit difficult to execute a game plan that you don't believe in. Really. Yeah. Um, she took her look pretty good. Yeah, he, he had one of his better lot, games. He also, he also yeah, had even James the Fenter. Ball on a little bit though. James Fenter has pocock arms. Did yeah, you see? I saw. He's like this tall and his, <laughs> yeah, his arms he, are he, he as wide as. Yeah, can't put his shirt, put his shirt down. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think. I think with the right mix, um, they'll click and they'll be a proper force. It's yeah. a bit is injured, which I hope is not too Rib serious. injury, I see. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so that was um, that was that. Let's carry on. Um, we watched Lions. all those in a row. Um, Lions, Ospreys. Firstly, I have to give it to the Ospreys. Played really well. Defense was extremely good. Tipperick had the best match I've seen him in, in quite a while. He did everything. He was playing scrum off at one stage. He was he was doing everything. Yeah, and, and they uh, were really physical. Yeah, I yeah, said yeah. At yeah. one stage, like, you don't see the Welsh, the current yeah. Welsh teams play yeah. that physically. The fly-off and the full-back, excellent. Um, kicking out of hand, excellent. Brilliant defense. Um, and that wing, that wing of theirs, man, who plays for, for Wales. Yeah. I can't remember his name now, but he, he had a good game as well. Whenever he got the ball, there was danger. You know? Yeah. Yeah, they just, um, 
they had a really good game and, and they the Emir, uh, the, I think the Lions just got frustrated and they, they were impatient. Yeah, but they played. Yeah, they played just the wrong tactics. Yeah, like running from their own uh, mm. twenty-two when it's the field is so obviously like waterlogged. Yeah. They were used to they were used to being able to create line breaks, especially on the outside. Um, Frankie Horn linking, linking up with the outside backs. They they used to creating a lot of line breaks in a game, yeah. and when it didn't happen, I don't, I don't think they knew what to do. Well, um, the, the, what what happened then is then like like we were saying mistakes. that the the Ospreys were like aggressive and physical and they there were turnovers yeah. and then they were under pressure. And, you know. and really, really, really a game that they should have won to to give themselves. Yeah, oh, now they're out of the ninth or eleventh, yeah. or something like that. But everyone's on the same points. Everyone's on the same points. So point. from from the Ospreys on thirty five to the Lions on thirty four, you've got one, two, three, four teams. No, one, two three, four, five teams with with a points difference. So really, anyone can break into that. To Cardiff in 12th, it's a 10-point difference. They're yeah. on 24 points. Yeah. But any of those teams yeah, but they drop the, they drop can, the can come in or out. Yeah. But if you, sco if you, if you gain four points on, on, on those other yeah, teams, no it problem. would have made a big difference. Yes. So really one that they should have... Especially because they still have to play Leinster. Yeah, and it's just a lack teams. of leadership, I feel. You see Marius Lowe popping up on the wing. How often he popped up on the yeah. wing. And, and he's running in front of the guy who's supposed to pass the ball to him. Mm. I mean, that's like... Stupid. Yeah. Like, how can you pass to someone who's in front of you? And yeah. he wants to sort of gather the ball, yeah. And, and I don't know. It just A lot of it was just silly stuff. But also, you know, I see a lot of complaints about the ref. I watched it as a neutral. Brace wasn't terrible, but there were a few crucial, crucial things. Yeah, it wasn't. It, um, it wasn't the ref that. Ch Emmanuel Chituka, uh, I mean, I scored a try, and it's it's, it's one of the weirdest things. It's definitely like, a try. It's like, it's like the, the, I don't France, have the biggest hands. Game. I don't have the biggest hands, but if you give me a rugby ball and you put it on my hand, um, somewhere the ball is going to do that and it's going to touch the grass. I think the question is why so did Andrew Brace... There was Brace, a hand under the ball. Why, why did Andrew, Andrew Brace <laughs> think that it was not a try? When yeah. he's, he's standing right that there. The was, guy falls with all his weight like this. With, yeah, with, with, he's like flat on his stomach. Yeah. There's, there's nothing. The ball can't be anywhere else and he's like, no, than touch for grass. For me, it's, uh, you know, yeah. it's no try. On field decision, That was no definitely try. a try. Yeah. And a, again, that shouldn't happen. Yeah. That shouldn't happen. And the commentators are like, he was perfectly positioned and this and that. He, he came just after the, he dove on the, yeah. on, over the try line. Yes. He, he sort of arrived on the scene. The first inclination no of, of, of anyone try. that watched that thing, mm. that, tr that move, mm. was, okay, no, that's definitely a try. And you can always see but they when there's the nothing chance. under a player, yeah. when he's lying completely flat. No, oh, no. So that's, they scored directly after that, so it, it didn't make a, a big difference. And it, they also, I don't think they would have won the game because they just couldn't, they well, just they couldn't get their play going. The, there at the end, what took the game completely away w with uh, the Ospreys' try is, again, running from their like, try line. Yeah. Just kick the ball. Just kick it. Yeah, there yeah. is time. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and then a Stormers Ulster. <laughs> Stormers tried their absolute best to lose the game. Um, yeah, I thought Ulster were very good in the first half. They were yes. good, and they, but they didn't. They they should have scored more points. Yeah. Um, but and like and also bad um, goal kicking by Cooney hit the post from very very close, and then missed another penalty. But bad kicking by bad kicking by Marnie yeah, as well. Marnie as well. Worried, like, should we? Yeah, kick it. Should I repeat myself? Missed again? it on the same side it? twice. Yeah. The, from more or less the same spot, easy kicks, not difficult kicks at that level. Yeah. I mean, if you miss it on the on, on, on if you miss it to the left, aim a little bit more to the right next time because yeah. you're curling it towards the left. Yeah. But then know. he hits, then he hits one like dead center, difficult yeah, one. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, so this just yeah. also yeah, in different game for the, for the Stormers. I was we won South African teams in the playoffs, so I was happy that they managed to pull it through right yeah. at the end um, with the mall. Um, yeah, but uh, Ulster actually played really well, and they probably deserved more. But mm. um, good for them. I think it was a game of exactly. I mean, exactly a game of two halves. Like we yeah. should, should have scored more points in the first half. Stormers should have scored m more points in the second yeah. half. It almost looked like it was a bit dewy or something. Like yeah, knocking the ball on. Yeah, many all the South African teams too many handling errors, yeah. and it shows 
it shows a lack of composure i think and and the sort of must win game so we've got to try everything and we've got to try 50 mm. 50 stuff uh, instead of just um almost playing it more test match style yeah um especially in wales where it's yeah. waterlogged pitch yeah you know so um didn't manage to watch the t last two games because it's quite late i was a little bit tired so i wanted to but i Munster didn't play who did they play uh, glasgow beat the scarlets um, 45-3 and, and I, I saw the score Cardiff was in the, uh, the lead against Munster for, for a large portion of the game but Munster ended up winning 2015 which obviously um, pushed them into fourth on the log mm. four points clear of the Stormers and, and Glasgow took the Bulls place in um, also four points clear so they're second now we Glasgow's still have to actually play. we don't give them enough credit they've, they've, they've good. got a great season luckily we're playing them here yeah we're playing them here season them season and before. Munster we're playing here yeah so that will be handy so just let's just look at the next round quickly before we yeah, it's, um, it's, it's probably break. exactly 14 minutes uh, yeah. video slower break for two weeks because yeah we've got to go to Heineken Champions Cup yeah yeah so um uh Sharks playing Glasgow over there as they can do any, any, everyone a favor and have like the best game of their lives that would be great Lions Leinster here in South Africa at altitude i i think leinster might play might send a weakened team or maybe because of the champions cup yeah like, maybe know, because of the european players. champions cup and and then that would give the lions a chance to beat them maybe and bulls munster at loftus we sh we have to go yeah we absolutely We're have going, to go yeah. that's that's a big that's like a six pointer on uh, like a that's a 19th hey yeah yeah that will be on the saturdays the 20th um so we like uh stormer should beat the ospreys at home um but yeah every game is a big game now. now five big. rounds to go yeah and um the, like the lions have to beat leinster to give themselves a chance to yeah. reach the playoffs yes which is big and <laughs> if the if big. the stormers then beat the ospreys obviously and and other Who results is leinster pl playing the shock connor's playing zebra so they'll they'll move up when leinster um, come here or who the, who's the other team they're playing who the uh, leinster who are they playing in south africa and um, the round and after that it's bulls ospreys um stormers leinster yes i didn't think we yeah, can rely on the games. stormers there the if leinster lose both those games then they but they won't they'll yeah, they'll, they'll send won't. They'll send. I think that they'll send a half weekend team. And Connacht send got as a as a fairly easy run playing the zebra and the dragons. Who's that? Connacht. Connacht. See, so they can still yeah, make it easy. They can still make it. Okay, interesting. Interesting to get to this part of the season where where every game matters. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers.